Hello and welcome to a special edition of Indie Miners. This week, BJ, we tackle one of the monster albums, Animals, the 2018 James Guthrie remix. BJ, welcome to the show. Can you give us a rundown? G'day, Al. Yes, Animals, Pink Floyd's 10th album from 1977 is getting an update, the 2018 remix. So this particular album is, is a little bit polarising um, amongst a lot of Pink Floyd fans. It's probably seen this in a slightly different light to their big four albums, Wish You Were Here, Dark Side of the Moon, and The Wall. Now, this particular update is um, surrounded in a little bit of controversy itself. There's been reports that certain band members weren't particularly happy with this particular mix. It is a 5.1 version of the album, which is the third of Pink Floyd's album to get that particular treatment. Um, and there was also a very public falling out in relation to, to liner notes, which I can confirm um, that, uh, yes, there are no liner notes as such, at least in the edition that I purchased. So the album comes in many different shapes and sizes. Um, the Blu-ray edition, which we've purchased, has, I guess, a number of different versions, both stereo, the original 1977 mix, as well as the 5.1 mix. But you also have vinyl CD, super CD editions that are out today and available with the updated mix. But you also have, coming up in a couple of weeks' time, a deluxe edition um, that will have a, a numerous other things, so included a DVD and a, a, a a 180 gram vinyl, whatever that is. I'm not a, a vinyl fan in particular, but um, looking a little bit deeper in terms of the, the update, it is a, a facelift of stuff. You do notice that when you listen to it, you do notice in particular with comparing waveforms of previous versions. So we had the 2011 remaster, compare that to Dogs with the 2018 remix. And there were certainly difference in it, and that is confirmed by listening to things. Um, from an analytical viewpoint, you can see that these particular tracks and what they've been able to do with it, it, it creates a lot more energy. Um, it is slightly angrier, um, interesting from my point of view, which uh, wasn't the sign that we were getting when we looked at Dogs. So overall, there, there's a lot of interest in this particular album, and it has been a... Yeah, I guess a very interesting exercise uh, listening to it and trying to consider what might have actually have changed compared to the previous versions that we'd listened to. Fantastic. Now, in terms of giving this a review, mate, it's not often that I go out and drop $55 on an album that I've already got, but I've been really interested to see and to hear, sorry, the 5.1 remix. I've got to say on the initial impressions, I'm pretty impressed you know, being in my 40s now, I've been able to save up and get a decent kind of home theatre system. So to be able to test it out and to hear what um, James Guthrie has done to the mix has been really impressive. You can clearly hear the different sound separations. You can hear people laughing in the background that you might not have heard as well on the 2.0 version. Overall, I think if you're in the market for something that's going to sound a little bit different and quite quite enjoyable, I think it's for you, mate. What do you think? Yeah, look, there's a couple of notes I've got. I think you can reflect on the update and what they did to the stereo mix as well as the 5.1 mix. In terms of the stereo mix, I think that there are certain things that they've tweaked compared to the previous version. I think I mentioned on our previous review that Dave Gilmore's vocals are a lot more crisper um, with dogs. You can definitely hear it. And, and I was always taken aback thinking that it was a, a different version that was coming through. It wasn't. It was just the way it was coming through and what they did to it. Um, I, I was also impressed with Pigs with the bass. Like I, I could hear Roger Waters' bass a lot clearer, I, I, I think, compared to the previous version. I, I'm very struck by how good it was. And I, I just hadn't noticed that before. Um, now, with the 5.1, I think the things that I, I think were interesting is that you were definitely hearing different things at different times, especially with the back channels. I thought they were really cool what they've been able to do, that really adding to the atmospherics. Um, the keyboards were one thing I just noticed a little bit more with 5.1 um, compared to the different versions, which um, it sort of struck me that, that this there is a lot of keys in, in this particular album. So I, I thought it was a, a really um, cool thing to listen to. Um, you know, especially when um, you're used to listening to the, I guess, the original CD versions that have been out and kicking around for many years now. Yeah, fantastic. So in terms of our big question that we're asking this week, BJ, 
is it worth it and why? I mean, my answer is yes. I think it personally it's a little bit of a bit of a cash cow coming out at $55. I'd love to know the amount of money we've thrown at this album over the years, mates, all the royalties that are going to the boys. And, I mean, if you just, just have a look at your T-shirt there, mate, I noticed that you've got the Indy Miners sign and, and, and I haven't. So I'm just wondering if there's any royalties coming your way, mate. Um, yeah. But, look, in general, for our fans watching the, the show, definitely worth a listen. If you've got a spare $55, and I don't know how much the vinyl version is, probably a couple of thousand. Uh, definitely worth the money, mate. That was the 2018 remix of Animals by Pink Floyd. That wraps up another episode of Indie Miners. Please look to subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, and let us know if there's an album you would like us to look at. So until next time, bye for now, and thank you for watching.